Undertale. This is episode six, I believe. We just did the math, and I think that's right. We're pretty sure it's six. Yeah. <laughs> um, we started a date with Papyrus last time. Yeah, we and started. We started. It's not done. It's not done. <gasps> oh my we god. We have more to do on this date. Oh, I'm so excited. Alrighty, let's go and <laughs> forget that I did that. A date with Papyrus. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So last time we met all these people. Mm -hmm. The Weekenders bunny and the child and the bear who explained the Christmas of games. The what? The we it, <laughs> That bunny on the left. Did you ever see the um, Toon Disney show Weekenders? No. It, I'm pretty sure it was called The Weekenders. And they a lot of them just had like that rectangular box face. Okay. I never watched like. a lot of Toon Disney. Ooh, it was, it was, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure it was called The Weekenders. <laughs> They all had, like, that shape of a head. Oh, by the way, uh, I turned into Mickey Mouse a couple episodes ago. <laughs> it was awesome. And I was editing it, and I was like, uh-oh, that's not consistent. <laughs> if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yes. yes. Okay, dating start! You're gonna hold hands and stuff? Oh, oh. Dating start. Okay. Here we are, on our date. <clears throat> I've actually never done this before. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Look at him in his little book. Whoa. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you! That's not a question. It's not a but question. Yes. But okay. I will accept. I like egg. Uh, crime? <laughs> dog on sonar? Really? Wowee! Radar? What? <laughs> I said dog on sonar, but it's radar, so dog on radar. It's rough dog. Rough dog. It's a dog. I like dog uh, on. I don't know. I like dog on. <laughs> I guess that meant that means it's time for part three. Step three: put on nice clothes to show you care. Oh, no, keep the cape. Keep the cape. Wait a worse. second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Mm -hmm. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Caught us. Absolutely. Caught us. <gasps> what have we done to him? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! <laughs> no! Your dating power! Oh my gosh. Yeah! Yeah! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Right. Behold! His shoulders look like basketball. <laughs> yes, they do. Nyeh! What do you think of my secret style? I think we should lie to him and tell him that we love, love him. it. Because I don't. Oh my no! gosh! <laughs> Ungenuine compliment! <laughs> so much date power. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Uh. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. What secret? But that won't happen. Mm -mm. Move and inspect with Z. What do we want to inspect? The shoulders, the head, the hat? The shoulders. But they look like basketball hoods. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. Your shoulders are your delts. But who doesn't? You're correct. He's incorrect, but he wouldn't know because he doesn't have muscles. You're right. So... Where should we... The hat. The hat. Not there. <laughs> it's just moving around, I you swear. You paused. <laughs> My hat? My hat. My hat! Nyahaha! <gasps> well, well then. You found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! What is it? It's a present! A present just for you! For us? We've had to open it. Do you know what this is? opened it? Yeah, it's up there. Is it spaghetti? <laughs> spaghetti! <It's> spaghetti! <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes. Right! Yeah. But also wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta. It's this is an artisan's work! Oh. <laughs> Silk 
oaken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Let's eat it. We gotta eat it. We gotta eat it. We gotta eat it to up the date power. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! So this was like a battle of the date? Date battle. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Uh -huh. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Aww. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. Dang. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Mm. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. Yeah, it'd be tough. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah! That was the oddest date. Oh. oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Platonically, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's just gone. He that left is, us in his he house. He left his house. <laughs> Okay. That was the date with Papyrus. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun, right? Yeah. I know, it's so fun. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Froze. Frozen. You're the frozen. My ears are froze. And my nose is froze. Froze. And my toes are froze. Oh. Points if you know what that's from. Brownie points. I don't have anything for you, but it's a good quote to know. We're not going to edit in this reference. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this brand new place. This brand new fish man. This is one of my favorite places. Let's talk to this kid. Okay. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Is this the cute voice I gave him last time? Yes. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. I can, I can tell you're a kid from because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah, yeah so it's him. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay. Who are we talking about? Who's her? Mm. I want to know. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Cool. Waterfall. So who's the fishmonger over here? This guy? Yeah. Let's, let's see what this flower is first. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. It just pulsated. It, it went... <laughs> Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. That's not the voice I expected to come out of that guy. <laughs> what did you expect out of him? Not, never trust a flower. flower. Like, that is like, have smoked for about 20 years. That's kind of how he struck me. <laughs> I but got you. <laughs> that's what he just said. So that flower is an echo flower. Okay. It takes in whatever someone says around it. That's funny. It's cool, right? That is cool. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah! Let's yeah! Go to Grillby's. It's fun! Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. What is he? Is he standing there at the stall? Over here. I know a shortcut. To go the opposite way. Ah! What a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Yeah! Hey, everyone! Hi, Sans! Hi, Sans! I love those dogs. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sandy. I don't remember their voices at all. I'm I don't so remember sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of voices. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ah. 
Here, get comfy. Santa's voice is gonna change so much. I think Santa's voice has already changed. Yep. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Nice. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? I say fries. I say fries. We were talking about fries. We were talking about fries when <laughs> we started. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of fries. I love Grilby. He's just made of fire. He's combing his head. Huh. So, what do you think of my brother? Cool or uncool? Gotta call him cool. He's cool. He definitely thinks he's Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Aww. Oh well, at least he washes it. Well, he, he did take it off for us. I think he's talking about the thing underneath. I think oh, he's talking the, about the clothes. The cool dude outfit? Yeah. Okay, the cool dude oh, no. outfit. Oh no, maybe he's talking about the battle body. I he don't know. He was talking about how the battle yeah. body was like, he got it for Christmas. Something. He got he it and just kept, refused to take it yeah. off. Yeah. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Gross. Gross. At least he cleans it. Fries. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. I'm no? sorry, I hate ketchup. <laughs> Aww. Hot take, I hate ketchup. Okay, we'll say no. Sorry, sorry. More for me. Oh. He just drank it. <sighs> Is he scratching his butt? Yep. Nice. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. He does. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. Yeah. One day he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Oh. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. So he's still warrior training? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, flowery. Yes. World domination flower that we should step on. Yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Is Flowey an echo flower? Doesn't look like one, does he? No, he's yellow. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. No. No? No, we don't have 10,000 gold. <laughs> I get it. I refuse to be asked out on a date and then told, sorry, I'm broke. I have standards. Should we say we're gonna do this? Okay. Just kidding. Good lord, I thought we were gonna Grilby. make him angry. <laughs> Put it on my tab. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't think it would make him angry, so I was like, I think I can say no to this. <laughs> By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I do that all the time. Yeah. Alright, time to go back this way. <laughs> okay. Can we just take the shortcut? I think we could have, I don't know. Oh, the one that he used? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do that. Just for the record, if you see me say like, I'm gonna put the volume up real quick, it's because we have to play this with no volume, or else it'll go right into our microphone. Yeah. We're a, we're a setup in progress. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's this is an echo flower. Okay. For anyone that didn't catch it, this is the echo flower. Mm -hmm. We're gonna save now. Yay, so we've learned all these things. Bye bye. <gasps> the magic box. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Yes. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Honestly, that was my reaction to it the very first time I saw the box, so this sign is a vibe. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Yeah. All right, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna put that in there. <laughs> then we're done. Okay. It's down here. I can't remember. Did you keep the oh, cinnamon yeah. buns? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I recently got an actual TikTok, and I've been watching and showing her videos of this dude who cooks old recipes, and it's quite possibly one of my new favorite things. It's so hilarious that he says things wrong, and whenever he mixes in cinnamon, which is a lot, he goes, the cinnamon! cinnamon! He goes, cinnamon! Yeah! <laughs> 
calls baking powder floof powder. The floof powder, and then egg. Every, every time he goes egg when he cracks eggs, and then when he does vanilla, it's usually like the last of like an, an aggressive ingredient. So he's like floof powder and sugar and more sugar and vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, I don't know why we're giving him a shout out because we're tiny and he's got millions of views, it's but so it's B funny. Dylan Hollis on TikTok. Follow B Dylan Hollis. Do it's it. So funny. B Dylan Hollis, if you're watching this, we love you. We love you. <laughs> we are so I don't know funny. why you're watching this, but <laughs> you're one of my favorite things right now. You're so funny. <laughs> okay. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Someone said that. What's behind it? Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Why? Who's watching us? Uh, Who's watching anything? Who knows? Is it loud? <gasps> oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, oh, oh. We can go in! <laughs> There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Great. Will you take it? Sure. Yeah. You got the old tutu. Okay. Cool. Oh, hell, it's okay. And there's some shrooms. <laughs> Armor, defense tent. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna use that real quick. That's cool, so we're just gonna be wearing a tutu now? Yeah. You won't um, see it. Uh, you put the old tutu, I know. Well, that's the point! I, I want to walk around in a tutu and feel pretty! When I first got that, I did the same thing. I was like, oh. Uh, oh, I think. <gasps> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Did- Yes! Of course I did! Look at that pose. Yeah. I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Well, 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 no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. What? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. What are you gonna do to us? <gasps> oh no. I literally wasn't breathing. <laughs> that, that one was that, like, we moved and I went, oh no, the kid, the kid, <laughs> the child. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Move. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Apparently I'm the, oh, kiddo. That was so accurate to how kids are. I know, right? Such good character. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Aww. Waterfall hallway. Yeah. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. These are bridge seeds. We, we carry gotta them. align them in the water so we can make a bridge. We carry them on our heads. Ah, uh, that is adorable. Even though apparently we can walk in the water, we've got to make a bridge. Some water is deeper, you never know. Never go into water of unknown depth. It's so cute. cute. I like it a lot. I like it. <gasps> Whoa, Aaron. What kind of pack is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12! It's a 12 pack! It's a 12 pack! Whoa! It's a 12 pack! Aaron flexes in. Woo! Aaron! <laughs> flex or shoe? You flex. <laughs> you got it. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Whoa. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. <laughs> Smile and winky emoticon. Whoa. That is so funny. Gets faster. I didn't realize it got faster. Aaron is ready for your next flex. So, do we flex again? Yeah. Okay. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Whoa. Attack increases for you, too. Whoa. Nice! I won't lose, though. <laughs> I won't lose, though. <laughs> Whoa, the drip. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Aaron's ready for your next flex. Let's go. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. Yeah. He flexes himself out of the room. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he, he done flexed out! Yeah! <laughs> you ever flex so hard you just float away? <laughs> Man, I wish. My bridges. 
Do you want to try to solve this puzzle? Yes. It's a puzzle. So four have to be aligned. Okay. In order to... In order to sprout. Actually sprout. Where are we trying to cross? So we're trying to get from this side to that side. We're trying to get over here. It's still right there in front of the waterfall, right? Yeah, is that four squares? No, it looks like it's all three. How you do it? <laughs> They're all three! <laughs> How you do? <laughs> I don't know! They're all three! Think in different terms than... Uh, left to right. Got it. So we're gonna line them up here, right? Pretty much, yes. You almost have it. No, am I stupid? No, you're right. It's up and down, but it's just a little over. You do it here, cause then you cross there. Oh, yeah. I am still a little stupid. Yeah, really. That's, dude. Fun fact. I never actually figured this out. How'd you do it? I watched someone. Uh. <laughs> Uh, before I bought this game, I watched the entirety of Jacksepticeye's play. Oh. Uh, yeah, I so, I, that's, yeah. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Oh, okay. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah! So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. I'm wearing a tutu. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. That's us. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? We are. I mean, we should say no because we know he's a traitor. So we want to say no? We want to say no. Okay. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. No. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. We're really okay. high on the lying streak for Papyrus. For Papyrus. We're not very good friends to yeah. him. But also, he's trying to sell us out to Undyne. Yeah. Like, he wants to literally help us have our soul sold. So yeah. that's not cool. Pretty much. That's not cool. Nah. But... I think that we need to pause here because there is a nice big ol' Echo Flower saga coming up. And I don't want to go into it. It's, it's, we're not at a save point, but that's fine. We're going to play the next episode right now. Yay! <laughs> there's there's behind-the-scenes stuff for you. <laughs> um, what? You mean we film these two at a time? Whoa! Because two episodes in a row we're wearing the same clothes? Whoa! I you know I didn't think about that until I was editing like the fourth episode. Really? I was like, oh, we have like the same clothes in two of them. Why am I thinking this is a secret? This is not a secret. It's not a secret. We look exactly the same as the last time we played. <laughs> so we're going to call it here for now. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We are learning that Papyrus is apparently being talked to by a flower. And Sans thinks it's an echo flower, but we know better. It's been a Sans-heavy a Sans episode? It's not his name, Papyrus. Papyrus. It's been a Papyrus-heavy It's been a Skelebros-heavy episode. It's been the Font Fraternity yeah. heavy episode. Yes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel to be caught up on everything that comes out. And even click that bell so that you can watch as soon as it comes out. It's going to be amazing. We are also playing House of Ashes. We yeah. also played Poppy Playtime. Yes. That one was very fun. We're that looking into terrifying. the second chapter. And I promise you I'm going to get Dark Souls soon. <laughs> I'm speaking to you, Ezekiel. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go for this episode. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy gazing at the stars the way that we are with you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye! Bye.